looking at the camera. You're looking at the camera. You say hi, guys. You say hi, guys. You gonna talk to them? You say hi. My name is Jacob. This is harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> With the, oh, spit up. This will be Jacob's six week update. So I thought it would be a good time to film a sit down video updating you guys on Jacob. Um, introducing him to you, this is Jacob, little Jacob. Yeah. I'm not sure how long he's gonna last in this video, but I'm gonna keep him as long as possible. So you can all see him. Oh, you're a bit tired. You're a bit tired. So what a whirlwind of a month it has been, adjusting to life with a baby. Um, it has been such a special time to get to know Jacob and get to know life as a mother. Um, it also has been a very challenging time, um, getting used to the sleep deprivation <laughs> and the regular feedings and everything is such a new challenge for us as parents. Um, but we're doing great. Um, Jacob's doing really good. So we had his six-week GP appointment with the doctor and he weighed in at 5.5 kilograms. So when Jacob was born, he weighed in at 3.7 kilograms. So he is now 5.5 kilograms. So he is feeding very well. He loves, loves, loves his milk. We are exclusively breastfeeding. And that is going really well. I want to do a separate video on breastfeeding and my experience so far with it. So he is in the 80th percentile for his weight, which is really good to hear. Um, we had a few struggles earlier on with breastfeeding, um, so it's really good to hear that he's in the 80th percentile. It's really good to hear that he's in the 80th percentile, and the GP said. He is looking amazing and healthy and normal, so that's really good. Um, along with that, he is now 57 centimeters long, which he was 51 centimeters when he was born, so he's growing very well. Um, for his height, he is in the 60th percentile, which is normal and average, and he's going really well. Something the GP picked up at his two week GP appointment was a click in his hip when he was stretching his legs out. So I guess we're gonna start rocking. So the GP sent us off for a ultrasound on his hip just to check um, the click out. Um, he said it's very normal for a, a newborn to have a click in his hip, but he just wanted to double check. They don't wanna miss out on anything. So we went for the ultrasound last week he didn't like it very much um, because they had to sort of hold him down and do a stress test on his hip. But it came back all normal. Um, he doesn't have any problems in his hips. Um, it was just to check out that click. Something the GP also picked up, which we also knew about beforehand, was he has a sticky eye in his left eye. Since day one, we've been um, washing his eye with just a cotton ball and water, which is what they taught us to do. Um, and it still is there a little bit. Um, it hasn't gone away completely, but it's a lot better than what it was. He also has a umbilical hernia, which is completely normal. As the doctor told us, um, it's just that his um, belly button is um, a little bit swollen. Um, it, it's a bit raised um, sometimes, especially when he's um, upset. Also at his six week appointment, he had his vaccinations. Now we've been um, completely no vaccination, no visit pretty much for his first six weeks of life. Um, we don't want to risk that um, possibility of him getting sick. I've seen so many stories of babies getting sick that I just really would be so upset to see Jacob go through that. So we had no vaccination, no visit. So now that he has his vaccinations, um, we're able to go out into public places. Like yesterday we went to a cafe. It was just um, a small cafe, not many people inside of it. But um, it's good to go out again and see people. 
Um, he did really well with those vaccinations. One was an oral um, vaccination which he didn't really like um, the taste of. And the two needles that he had, he cried for a little bit and I think I cried more than him. Um, I teared up a little bit just to see him in that pain. I immediately picked him up and just hugged him for a little bit and he was fine. He had forgotten about it already. So in regards to clothing, Jacob is um, just growing out of newborn clothes. He still fits into some of them, um, but mostly he wears zero to three month clothing, so triple zero size, which is always exciting because then we have a whole new set of clothes that he can wear. Um, and in regards to nappies, he has just grown out of the newborn size nappy. He's just gone into the infant nappy. The other thing he's experienced this month is baby acne. He had a lot of it towards like the three week mark but um, it soon went away. I think it was more to do with the heat. Um, we've been having really hot days here and taking him into the car seat um, isn't great for him. But now it's all cleared up pretty much, just a few spots here and there. So Jacob has been pretty much lifting his head up since birth um, or the day after birth. He has had a strong neck. Um, and able to lift it up just for a few seconds. Now he um, is able to lift it up for a lot longer than that. He's still a little bit wobbly um, holding his head up, but he can do it a lot more now than before. And we've been doing tummy time about twice a day just to strengthen his neck and get him ready for crawling, which is really scary to think about, but the doctor said that we have to do tummy time um, just to get him ready and strengthen those muscles for crawling and eventually walking. As you can see, he loves to fall asleep on people's chests, especially mine. Um, obviously, he can smell his milk from there. But yeah, pretty much from day one, he's been sleeping on our chests. Um, they call it the fourth trimester, where they don't want to be detached from you. Um, more so recently, he's been more comfortable to, to sleep on other people's chests. But since he has been uh, five or six weeks, we've been trying to not let him fall asleep on our chest as much as before, um, just to try and get him used to falling asleep in his bassinet. She's doing really well on. Um, he's able to lie in his bassinet for a good while by himself um, and playing with his mobile. More recently, he has been a lot more awake and aware um, he can stay awake for up to two hours now, which is a lot more than what he used to do. He used to sleep so, so much. So it's really cool um, to interact with him and get to know his personality. He's been staring into people's eyes, also mine and Jordan's, and he loves looking around and discovering new things. Um, I think he's just loving finding new things to look at and experience. <laughs> He actually loves being outside and looking up at the trees and the sky and all different lighting. And he also has begun to recognize our voices. The reason I know this is because um, whenever Jordan comes home from work, um, he will hear Jordan's voice and turn his head towards him. Um, he loves when Jordan comes home from work. I really think he misses him when he's there. And one thing I'm really happy about is is that he's begun smiling at us. Um, this is a really heartwarming experience to see your son smile at you for the first time or even to the point of almost a giggle. Um, he also smiles at Jordan because Jordan's very silly towards him and is able to get him to smile a little, a little bit more than me. And in line with this, he has begun to coo um, and sort of speak back to us whenever we're speaking to him. So whenever we talk to him, we talk to him a lot, like we speak so much to him and he grunts back at us or coos back at us and it's really cool to see that um, he's trying to respond to us 
um, or he'll flap his hands which is apparently our response to um, us speaking to him. I'll insert some video of him cooing and speaking to us pretty much. <coughs> He loves mobiles or things that dangle in front of him. Um, he loves anything that uh, moves around pretty much. And he hits his hand out at them. So it's the stage before grabbing. Um, he, he sort of just hits the toys and they move around. And it's really cute to see him play like that because um, he couldn't play by himself before. But now I can um, put him in the bassinet and hang up the map mobile and he'll sort of hit it for a little bit. He'll last maybe 10 minutes um, by himself and then he'll look around for me. One thing we have noticed about Jacob is he does not like to sit still unless he's sleeping. So um, if someone's holding him, um, he'll get fussy. He doesn't like to sit still so he'll want you to walk around or bounce around or um, do a funny dance. Um, we often find to get into sleep that we have to do squats, so he's been doing really good for my legs. <laughs> um, he has really strong legs. Now we've heard about Jordan and his um, genetics of strong legs when they were babies, but this kid can kick very hard. <laughs> so when I'm holding him and he's upset or he's just very happy, he'll start kicking. Um, very strongly um, to the point where he can sort of kick off and jump um, if I'm holding him obviously under his arms and he'll just jump with his legs. The other thing we have bought which he loves is the Mamaroo kind of like a bouncer which is automatic. Um, you just press the buttons and it's sort of automatic. I'll insert a clip of him in the Mamaroo. This has certainly saved our backs and our arms and constant um, leg squats and things like that. But he'll only love it sometimes. So maybe once a day for a couple hours he'll sit and be content on the Mamaroo and he loves it to fall asleep as well. Um, but other times during the day, especially when he's fussy, he won't have it, he won't sit in there, um, he'll just cry. Um, so, it, so it has been a great device for us to actually get a few things done during the day. Um, when he does sit in it, I'll go do the laundry or something like that, eat some breakfast. Um, but he'll only love it sometimes, uh, other times he'll hate it. <laughs> the thing we've been starting to do with him is not sleep training, but developing sleep patterns to um, eventually sleep train him in the future. We've been following the organization called Little Ones. Um, they've got some really good resources and they give you a guide of when he should sleep and when he should eat and what to do in different circumstances, um, which he's been going pretty well at. We've only been doing it for a couple days, um, but he seems to be sleeping at the right times, um, except for last night, which he didn't sleep very well during the night. But I want to do a separate video on sleep patterns and how we're going and maybe give you an update on um, how well this program goes for us. That's pretty much it for Jacob's update. Um, postpartum for me, um, a little update is that I had my six week appointment and everything was great, fine, I'm all healthy. I'm starting to feel normal again. Um, I think the first month getting used to having a baby and everything like that. It, it takes a toll on your body pretty much. <laughs> so it's just now that I'm starting to get used to it all and, and my body has started to bounce back from delivery which was an interesting experience. I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight thanks to breastfeeding. Um, I really do think breastfeeding has helped me lose the pregnancy weight. But yeah, my body has kind of bounced back really well and starting to feel human again. <laughs>
I'm wanting to do a video on my breastfeeding experience as well so watch out for that video it's gonna come up very soon as well as some other videos that I've been wanting to film such as the nursery tour which I never got to do before he was born um, obviously the sleeping patterns video and I also want to do a labor and delivery story video just to tell you how everything went and pretty much tell you the story of his birth so yeah I think that's pretty much it for our update on six weeks postpartum so thank you for watching the video and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming up soon